Judge not, lest ye be judged. The question is, do you fear God or do you not fear God? Brethren in Christ, laudator Jesus Christus in secula. This is Timothy Flanders at the Meaning of Catholic. Jesus is King. Welcome to another week of the spiritual classic, Imitation of Christ. We've come to a very critical chapter in book one, Avoiding Rash Judgment. And I think that this chapter is inc incredibly helpful for us on the internet with all of the sins that we commit or that we're tempted to commit on the internet. So this, this reading is an offering to the Fellowship of St. Anthony. If you're a part of the guild, please join the Fellowship of St. Anthony. We are laymen, laywomen. We offer up penance for the clergy and seminarians. Right now, we are, right now it's St. Martin's Lent, which goes from Martin Miss to Christmas. And it's a 40 plus days of fasting, penance, abstinence. And coming up is the Advent fast. So we're offering up, if you want to join us, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. That's the minimum offering up fasting and abstinence on those days. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. You can do more if you'd like. That's the minimum we're all committing to. So I encourage you to join the fellowship. Um, information below on all that. Let's get to our reading. Imitation of Christ, book one, chapter 14. Avoiding rash judgment. <clears throat> Turn thy eyes back upon thyself, and see thou judge not the doings of others. In judging others, a man labors in vain, often errs, and easily sins. But in judging and looking into himself, he always labors with fruit. We frequently judge of a thing according as we have it at heart, for we easily lose true judgment through a private affection. If God were always the only object of our desire, we would not so easily be disturbed at the resistance of our opinions. We often something, but often something lies hid within or occurs without, which draws us along with it. 